A group of Bay Area vacation rental owners are suing Governor Ron DeSantis, claiming that his executive order illegally singles them out because hotels have been allowed to remain open while they have had to close. Ada on your side, political reporter Evan Donovan joins us live from the federal courthouse in downtown Tampa with more. Evan. Good evening, Stacy. Dozens of eight on your side viewers who own vacation rental homes have called and emailed asking why do they have to shut down during this pandemic when hotels and motels don't. So we took those concerns straight to the governor's office as a local attorney takes them to the federal courthouse. We're just completely in a state of limbo. Joe Varner owns the luxury Anna Maria Beach Resort and vacation homes on the island. The resort has been open throughout the pandemic, but all the properties he owns or manages have been shut down. You have the exact same type of lodging. One group can take bookings and receive business, and the other group can't. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, I know why that is, and then basically it comes down to the, the, the hotel and motel uh, lobby industry here in the state of Florida is extremely powerful. Powerful is an understatement. Tourism is Florida's biggest business. At least seven members of the governor's reopened Florida task force represent hotels and resorts, and there are none for vacation rental owners. So Eight on Your Side took those questions to the governor's office. Why are vacation rental owners being treated differently than hotels and motels? In an email, the governor's communications director responded, quote, vacation rentals will be reopened as soon as the safety and well-being of Florida residents can be best assured. Several homeowners are now suing the governor, claiming his executive order violates their constitutional rights. Violates equal protection. The order it does not provide uh, our plaintiff's due process of law, which is protected under the 4th, 5th, and 14th Amendment. Now, the lawsuit also alleges that the governor's executive order is overly broad and vague and that it violates Florida's constitution as well. Live in Tampa, Evan Donovan, 8 on your side.